for people that don't know, how did you end up in the chair and what happened? Um, less than a year ago, racing at Lake Whitney in Texas, the amateur nationals. Uh, just came around in second along with my buddy right behind me. And uh, we just came into the chicane and over this little mound, this little jump. Right the, and I looked over the green flag and we just came together and snagged my back brake pedal and uh, threw me over the bars head first into a little cliff on the edge of the track. Just broke my back pretty much in half. Sudden, we see you back out here riding again. I guess the, the probably the question 90% of the people out there would ask is why? Why? In my blood, I guess, you know, just watching all these races, going to all the supercrosses. I wanna I wanna keep doing it, you know, and I don't know, I just thought about it, thought about getting David back out here, you know, and it's awesome. Today's one of the best days of my life, so it's awesome. How did you hook up with David and, and how'd you make today happen? Um, well, David, David used to train me a little bit in amateur motocross, so, you know, he helped me out a lot and got me to where I went, went in the three years I did race motocross. He got me there, and so I just, I got this thing set up, actually, from one of his buddies. His, he fabricated all of it. Brad, got to thank Brad right now. He's did an awesome job, so David saw some pictures of me and said, I want to try it, and I talked to him, and we set it up. Who's Brad, and, and why don't you run me through the layout on the bike? Um, well, Brad, Brad is from Parapros Racing, and he, uh, he's in a wheelchair. He got hurt about seven years ago at motocross. Um, so I came to him, and he's in my situation, so he knows exactly what I need, and uh, he did an awesome job. Just hand back brake. Uh, we took off the clutch. Got to thank Recluse again, because Re Recluse got me an automatic clutch, and this hand back brake. Um, and we welded some Nerf bars on it. Uh, just so if I fall over, it won't hurt our legs because we don't know if we broke them or not. So that keeps us safe. And the saddle seat, it's a base of a shifter cart seat. It's cut and uh, padded, and it keeps us from sliding off. And uh, How about foot pedals or the trays? Uh, the foot trays, they're uh, just nice pans so our feet don't fall off with uh, some straps, just strap right to the boot. What are you doing the whole feet on now? Before, I think it was kind of duct tape, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was using duct tape pretty much. Uh, riding my 110 around and with all my buddies. Uh, evolved from duct tape to this. It's pretty good. How do you feel when you're riding out there? What's it like? Almost normal. You know, it uh, hurts my back a little bit jumping. And, uh, but other than that, it's, it's normal. It takes my mind off of everything. Day to day, you're still fully involved in motocross, aren't you? Yeah, I work for uh, Platinum One Designs Helmet Painting Company that uh, used to paint my helmets and uh, for Rocket Exhaust. Just doing rider support stuff, just trying to stay in the industry. Um, it's fun, it's good. What's long term goal with this? What do you hope to do? I, I think you said you were actually going to Whitney this year? Yeah, yeah, I want to. As soon as I got hurt, I said I wanted to ride my bike again and wanted to ride a lap around Whitney. Just can't let the track beat me, you know, you gotta beat the track, so I wanna go back there and do a lap around it. And uh, that's that's pretty short term, that's in about a month, three weeks. So I'm gonna do that and uh, see where it takes me. I don't wanna take it too far and get hurt more, but I wanna still have fun, that's for sure.